All right. New video time. Uh, Alright guys, how is it going? It is so good to be back here making a video once again. It's been a while, it's been a while. I hope you've missed it. I know I have. I've taken a bit of a uh, creative break and since then, I've been doing a bit of uh... I mean, Spider-Man's only been out for a week, so I've just been playing that at night time, but I have been super busy with some other stuff, so let's, let's get into that. To really understand why I took this creative break, let's go back to Dowron on about, um, sometime mid or end of August, it doesn't matter, you'll, you'll figure it out, I'm sure you will. <laughs> Alright, so, um, back here today, ready for a Dowron vlog. Remember the old one? That was good. And um, we got old mate down with me here, we're doing, he's doing video again, I'm doing photos again. For some reason, photos. I mean, sure, why not? But we're just pulled over now, having a good time. Good to be vlogging again. A long time no see. Let's get into it. All right, so on route to Darren, um, we had a bit of a detour that set us back a good half hour or so. So now, basically, the logistics of it all are. Uh, we're gonna get to Dower in 15 minutes before the show starts. In, we have 15 minutes to find the actual place in Oak Park, get let in. We don't even know how we're being let in yet. Uh, get let into it and then uh, set everything up and start doing photos. So, so it's gonna be a bit hectic, mildly stressful. Not so much for you because you don't really have to worry about the show too much, but I, I need to do runway photography here and it's like, don't, don't want to miss that. Gate okay, eight, so gate six must have been back that way somewhere. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you go. Man, you wouldn't have to know where gate six is here, do you? Thanks. Right there. Okay. Right there. <laughs> Thanks, mate. We're here. Just. Literally <laughs> at 10.30 when the show starts. We're good to go. Okay. We'll see you after the show. <laughs> Now there's something that I want to talk about. All right, so what we want to talk about is the concept of having a creative break. I think the audio is okay here, but if it's not, then just just deal with it, I guess. So the first half of the year, I was uploading twice a week. I spent so much time creating and making videos, some better than others, and it got to a point where now I'm sort of, I'm a bit burnt out. Okay, uh, uh, okay. I'm really not about to make you sit through all that terrible audio, so l let's move on. I've been spending a, uh, a hell of a lot of time in here. Um... Alright guys, look, I know it's super disappointing and you may be surprised, but I'm not actually working out right now. You know, funnily enough, I just didn't want to film myself in a sweaty ball trying to do things. My favourite part of being in the gym and the thing I'm probably best at is on the treadmill. I do about 20 to 30 minutes, 4 to 5 Ks on that, and I love the aspect of goal achieving with it. Almost every time I go on that treadmill, I beat my goal, and usually by a very substantial amount. And that's what's been so good about this month off. I've really achieved some of the goals that I've wanted to achieve for a long time in terms of movies that I wanted to watch, but also fitness goals. I've been eating so much healthier, and also fitness. I, I'm enjoying it. I'm doing three or four runs a week. Here, come on, look, look. This is my... This, this is my notepad where I keep every record, every time I've done since I've been in the gym. It covers 4Ks, 5Ks, and more recently, more recently it's been covering my cross country runs that I've mostly been doing with my mum. Me and my mother, we are training to do a 14K run, 
which is more than double the amount I've ever run in my entire life. The other weekend, we did a, a 7K or something, and that is some of the most that I have run, and honestly, I, I don't think I've ever run more than that in my entire life. Is that sad? I don't know, I was never a fitness kid in school, so. But it is so exciting and so motivating to be doing that stuff. I've got a month to pretty much double the amount that I can run now. At the moment, I'm doing like, I can do 7Ks fine, like I, I'll struggle a bit at the end, but I'm getting there and considering two months ago, I had to stop and walk on a 4K, I'm really enjoying this and pretty happy with uh, my improvements. I think that pretty much covers all the fitness aspects that I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, but there's one more thing before we get to the actual conversation about being on a creative break. Let's go. I want to show you something. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um, let's, let's try a trick that a uh, nice dad's been showing off. It's a new way to, you know, put on your, put on your shirt. Let's try, let's try, uh, whoa, it, it. It works. That was really lame. Okay, so remember that uh, that dope ass Caragini vlog that I made. So as you know, if you've seen it, I entered it into a uh, a film festival. I don't know why I do this. It's, it is a film festival uh, for Road. You know the people that make all the super cool mics and stuff. Yeah, um, over like a thousand people entered it over a bunch of different categories, and I I was a finalist. Like that. That blows my mind. I'm not gonna toot my own horn here or anything, but that, it gives me such a big confidence boost. And it just makes me wanna make more movies and enter them in more competitions or, or try and find a, a larger audience for these movies. And as you know, I've been struggling with a bit of, uh, you know, uh, communication and uh, community on this channel recently. And it was so nice, so dope to get a bit of recognition on there. But that's just such a dope, cool thing to put on my portfolio and resume and okay now let's uh, let's let's get into the real juice and guts of this video shall we okay let's get comfy so at last here we are my creative break i got to a point a month ago where all i could think about when i was spending time at home was creating my next video it literally became an obsession of mine and that's fine that's that's a good thing to be obsessed about this far worst things in the world to be obsessed with, but this, it wasn't putting me in a good mental space. I really couldn't relax. If I didn't meet any deadline for me to putting up a video, I'd really beat myself up about it. And the last few videos, I didn't meet those deadlines. And I also felt like I wasn't making movies anymore. I was making videos because I thought I had to, not because I had a story to tell. And if there's no story, then there's no video. And I tried making a couple of videos between the last video and this one, but there was no real story. I'd be reflecting on something, and whilst I would change the, the, the placing of the camera in my room, thinking, oh, this makes it cool, more interactive, more entertaining for the viewer, it's just, it's really not a movie, because there's no story there. You can change the camera angle as many times as you like, but if there's no character, there's no story there, it is gonna be not engaging at all. I mean, if you're a great cameraman, then yeah, I mean, sure it could be, but let's, Forget about that. I was constantly fixated on making two videos a week, and it just... Ugh, it drove me insane. I I couldn't watch movies anymore because I felt like that was a waste of my time because I should have been making videos. In, in the month that I haven't been making videos and I've just been doing a bit of client work here and there, I have watched quadruple the amount of movies I've watched in the entire first seven months of the year. We're losing sunlight now, so let's make this real quick. I do work five days a week. And trying to come back and make videos whilst being so tired from that is super difficult. My aim is to get one video a week out to you guys, okay? One. Is that is that too much to ask for? Who knows? If I can do another, then I'm more than happy to do another video. But I don't want to stress out my little mind, okay? I, I want to keep making movies. Movies that I put time and effort into filming, creating, editing, everything that goes into it. Alright guys, I think that's all, all I gotta say. I'm sure I've missed something. It's been a very different vlog, this one, hasn't it? We've jumped over a few different places, had the common theme of this creative break, um, and also, I don't usually use this setup in a vlog, do I? Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. And uh, also, in the next couple of weeks or so, I'll see you in the finale of my life season two. It's, uh, it's a different one. I'll see you then, guys. Bye-bye.